what do you got there? Oh, hi there, Professor Berger. It's my parents' anniversary, and I got them both a present of some marbles. Marbles? Really? Yes. Uh, but you see, the marbles are in different boxes and bags, and some are single marbles, and, you know, I really, really want to make sure that I give them both the same amount of marbles. But I, I just don't know how to do that. Hey, well, let me help you, because actually, I have a math riddle that talks just about that. Oh, show me. Okay, so let's take it out, check it out together. So, marbles are sold in bags, boxes, or as single marbles. Mm -hmm. Now, each box has ten bags of marbles in it, and each bag has ten marbles in it. Okay. Okay, and so the challenge for us is to see if we can draw pictures to see different ways to buy 246 marbles. Yeah. Okay, so if we think about drawing pictures, here's how we might think of it. First of all, notice that each box has 10 bags of marbles, and each bag has 10 marbles in it, mm -hmm. so it's 10 tens. Yes, it is. And 10 tens is really 100. That is correct. So, in fact, we could visualize this by thinking about... The boxes being representing the hundreds, mm -hmm. the bags representing tens, mm -hmm. and the ones representing little ones. Right. So so now, if we want to take a look at 246, there are lots of ways we can draw that. Here, let me show you one way. One way is to say, okay, we need two hundreds. So that's going to be two hundreds. I'm going to do a very quick picture. Okay. So I'm going to draw a little square. The square is going to stand for 100. So I have 100, 200. Another and square, right? Exactly. And then I'm going to need 40, so that's going to be four tens, and those are those longs. Those four longs. Exactly. Look how good you are. I'm no, getting it. this. No, you I'm are. Getting it. And then we need six single marbles, and those mm -hmm. are six little things. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> they look like marbles. Exactly. And so they really are a good model for it. And now, if we write that out, we would see that what we're modeling here is, in fact... Two hundreds, mm -hmm. and then we have four tens, so that's going to be 40, mm -hmm. and then six. So that's one way of doing it right there, 246. Excellent. Okay, but we're supposed to give another way, because you said you want to give one to both parents, yes, right? Yes, I do, I okay. do. So here's a different way of doing it to get the same answer, but a different way. One thing we could do is to draw the following. We could make, again, two hundreds, mm -hmm. so two squares. But now, instead of four tens, let's just do three tens. One, two, three. And now I'm going to write that extra tens as what they equal in terms of ones. That's ten ones, because ten ones equals one ten. Right. Okay, so now I've got to put in ten ones. Let's take a while. Hurry up. One, Lots two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And oh. then don't forget the six I need. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Phew! Woo! Exactly. That was a lot of little circles. Exactly. But now we can write it in terms of what we see. And what do we see? We still have 200s. 200s. So we still have 200s. Right. But now we only have three, three tens. tens. Exactly. And how many ones do we have? Well, we have lots. We actually have 16 ones. Yeah. And so what we see, this model gives us 200s, three tens, and 16 ones. And that's the same exact number of marbles as the previous one, 200. 46. So there's lots of ways of doing it. In fact, let me just show you here all the ways, well, not all the ways, but some ways that we saw. We could take two boxes, four bags, and six single marbles. That's the first answer. Mm -hmm. Or we could have two boxes, three bags, and 16 single marbles. Ooh. That's the second answer. But either way, Jeannie, it turns out we're going to have 246 marbles in all. Ah, oh, thanks, Professor Berger. You're welcome. Ah, oh, no. Uh... Now I can sort my marbles. Exactly. And now let me ask you a question. Is it is it kind of standard for you to give your parents um, toys for their presents, like anniversaries? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Last year I got them dolls, and the year before that I got them a football. Yeah. Now wait, now wait, and do they actually play with these toys? Well, no, they never really play with them, but I don't mind. It just means that I get to play with them whenever I want. Yeah, so you know what I was thinking for next year? Yes. Is that I might get them um, maybe a pony or, 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 or a bouncy castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 
sure your parents would love it. Have fun with math. We'll see you soon. Oh, nice. <laughs>